All right, we are live. Good evening, everybody. This is Mr. Louis. Um, we will start in just a moment. Uh, according to this, we are approaching 100 participants. So we will uh, wait for just a moment to try to maximize the number of people who see the beginning of the presentation. Um, we will record this presentation um, for everyone. So that way, um, if you missed anything or you wanted to see it again, or you just really, really uh, enjoyed listening to uh, Mr. Torrens, Mr. Ellis, Ms. Monarchy, and myself, um, you, could, uh, you could press play again and watch it again. So we'll start in just a moment. All right, we have 100 participants, so we're going to start here. Uh, it's a little after five o'clock with our 100 or so participants. So what we're about to present to you guys is our uh, our plan to celebrate the class of 2020, specifically um, the activity that we're calling the diploma presentation, uh, the diploma cover presentation activity. Um, so with this, we will uh, go over all of the different nuances and details that we have imagined and uh, and discussed. Um, we've received approval from the Santa Clara County Office uh, of Public Health. Um, so ultimately, all of this has been vetted to be as safe as possible. Uh, but we do definitely need everyone's cooperation to make sure that this day goes off as smooth as possible uh, and as clean as possible. So that way, um, we can be able to move towards the, the full celebration of our class of 2020. So basically, what we're looking at right now is um, because we cannot do a traditional graduation as we normally would have done it, um, we're going to do a diploma cover presentation activity on June 1st. And it's gonna start off at 10 a.m. and we project it to end at about 4.30. Um, but your role as seniors is only going to be just a few minutes at most. Um, and we'll explain what that all is gonna look like in just a moment. Um, one of the key, key parts of this, because this is a drive-through, um, is that we think that uh, everybody should have a role that's who's in the car. Um, and so we want to go over this too, uh, to really just make sure that people understand for this to be as efficient and as effective as possible, that everybody in the vehicle has a role. So I'm going to start off here in the bottom with the driver, that the, the person who is driving the family vehicle should be the driver only. Um, they're not the photographer. They're not the graduate. They're the person who can be able to move um, from checkpoint to checkpoint without being uh, overly distracted um, and to make sure that the line continues to move safely. Obviously the front passenger can be an additional family member. The rear passenger uh, on the right side by our math should be the graduate. And that would be a situation where the graduate can exit uh, and return to the vehicle safely and easily and still allow for the family videographer or photographer in the back seat behind the driver. Because as we orient this, as you see in a moment, um, that back seat is the ideal place to be able to take any pictures, any family video that you would want to do. Again, key points is that the graduate needs to easily exit and enter the vehicle, um, that the videographer can look out the window. So you're in a vehicle where the window can go down and it's not a stationary stuck window. Uh, make sure that the driver can focus on moving up to each checkpoint so that the line continues to move. Again, we're going to have over 360 graduates come through over six and a half hours, and we want to minimize the traffic on Harriman Avenue. We want to flow people through. Convertibles are fine. So if you if your family happens to own a convertible with four doors, that's perfect. Uh, a convertible with two doors obviously means you have to consider the, the ease of the graduate getting in and out of the vehicle. Um, so you'd have to make that kind of adjustment. 
Vans are permitted. So again, if you're going to have a van and you want to maybe have a few more than five or six family members in the car, that's up to your family. But no party buses, please. No RVs, no double-decker vehicles. Um, families in the bed of the truck is not permitted. Semis with flatbeds are not permitted. Or any other creative ways that we might think to sort of change and, and bring as many people as we can. Again, we're looking at one family vehicle. And again, unfortunately, um, it wasn't a situation where we could say that multiple cars for the graduate could show up through this process. Um, originally, we were told that it could only be the graduate. And we pushed back a little bit saying that part of this was a special moment for the families too. And so there was a little bit of a concession, a little bit of a give to give us the one vehicle. So I'm sorry for any of the families who feel like they might need multiple cars to do this. Unfortunately, we just, we don't have the means to do so. So here's basically the processional of, of, of this uh, pathway. So we're going to ask that everybody approach uh, and enter the Harriman, um, the, the parking lot entrance off of Harriman near the stadium, but coming from the Saratoga Avenue direction. Uh, and we'll talk more about that in a moment. But ultimately coming from the Saratoga Avenue direction onto the parking lot. And then you're going to have to snake through just a little bit, maybe more if it turns out that we, we have to adjust for overflow, but snake through until you get to the checkpoint here. Um, at this checkpoint here, this is where we will have a person there to identify that the vehicle is at the right time, um, that the, the family has arrived with a graduate, that um, they uh, haven't shown up too, too, too early and uh, going to affect some things. So that's our very first checkpoint of where we're gonna start off with. And then it's gonna uh, come down here towards the tennis courts, make that turn, and where each of these white markers are, are going to be the white fences that we use typically for football games or in the parking lots to identify 30 foot gaps between cars. So we can again, maintain as much social distance as possible. And this area down by the tennis courts is where we will have the school items returned. And so there will be multiple times between now and June 1st and before school ends for seniors to drop off their textbooks their uniforms in labeled bags, their library books, uh, any calculators or Chromebooks that may have been borrowed, et cetera. Um, so again, just a few key points. Only one car per graduate, and I apologize that it can't be more. All of the family must stay in the car at all times. So the only person who can leave the car at the designated place is going to be the graduate. All of the family members need to make sure they stay in the car, please. Um, again, school items will be returned near the tennis courts. There'll be no contact between families returning items and staff collecting them. We'll use um, bins and tables to be able to, again, do that. And we're going to try to maintain one car per 30 feet with the designated waiting areas using white fencing signs and balloons. We'll have volunteers, we'll have staff members standing by each fence. So there'll be a moment possibly for a teacher to be able to um, acknowledge the graduate and their family and have a quick conversation before the line continues to move forward. In the next stage of this, we're going to get closer towards where the gym is. Again, we're gonna have the cars in line alongside the sidewalk, only again, one car per graduate. Again, all family must stay in the car at all times. The 30 foot gap between the cars, you'll see some congratulations signs on wrought iron fences. There'll be a place near the beginning uh, at this point where the seniors and their families will receive the graduation program. So you can have a copy of that in advance of our virtual graduation on June 4th. And you can be able to sort of look through it and have that uh, for you as you're in line. A little further forward is where we will have the photo stop. Um, and using our professional photographer will be one of the two places where a professional photographer will be to uh, get in front of the, the vehicle and to take a picture of the family in the car. What you do with your car, how you decorate it, that's your opportunity to express yourself. Um, the photographer may decide to take a picture head on and the family is leaning out the windows. Maybe the photographer takes it from the graduate side of the, of the car, the right side, um, and takes it that way to be able to capture the graduate and the family. So again, you can be a little bit creative with that, uh, and we will work with the photographer to be able to, uh, to make the most of that, this very unique uh, opportunity. And the last stage takes us to where we're going to get to the McAfee. So again, one more time, uh, cars will be waiting alongside the sidewalk, only one car per graduate, one car per 30 feet. Again, congratulations signs on the wrought iron fences and the retaining wall that'll be on the left and right of you. 
at the beginning of this stage is where the graduate will receive their name card so the readers can be able to accurately read the name of the, of the graduate. Um, and as we get through here, the, we're gonna get to the corner of the uh, McAfee. Like I said, the back right side ideally is where the graduate is getting out of and they're gonna walk uh, towards this ramp here. At the base of the ramp will be myself or Mr. Torrens or Ms. Monarchy or Mr. Ellis. We've invited other um, distinguished dignitaries possibly to help and to be able to, during the six and a half hours, uh, pass out the diploma covers to you. We'll have a stack on one side for us. We'll have a table between us and we'll take the one diploma cover, put it on the table so that the graduate can pick it up and take it with them as they come onto the stage. So they'll come up here, pick up the diploma cover, go up the ramp and come up the ramp here and then notify the reader of their name so that way they can be able to announce their name. This car and the graduate are going to be basically aligned to each other. And so as the graduate is moving up towards the stage, this car should be moving up to this spot here. On this onstage spot here is where the family in the car, and again, the photographer and videographer in the back left side, can be able to take the picture, to take the video, and to be able to capture the graduate as they come across the stage. There will be a designated spot at the top of the stairs for the graduate to stand and the professional photographer to take the picture. We're working with the graduation committee to ensure a nice backdrop. Um, and then the, the graduate can have a moment again in front of the professional photographer and for their family before walking down the ramp and coming back down this direction. Again, simultaneously, the car is moving up to the next spot. Um, and as a graduate comes down, if they borrowed a, a graduation gown, they can take it off and drop it off right there and not have to worry about it again. Get back into the car at the backside and then make the turn and then head out of the parking lot to exit back onto Harriman. So there's all the different little details, as you can see. There are 15 uh, stops between the first checkpoint and this 15th spot here right at the crosswalk before we start to get to the McAfee. Um, so we have a, everything sort of timed out and set up in those directions. Um, in terms of receiving the diploma and cover, again, to reiterate, at the bottom here of the ramp by these, uh, uh, what do we call them, benches, the graduates will um, pick up the diploma cover at the bottom of the ramp, they'll go up the ramp, they'll cross over. At the top of the ramp, they will identify themselves so that the reader can be able to announce them. At the center of the space, again, they can be able to pose for their picture for the professional photographer and pose for their family. Uh, and then they will be able to cross down and to return their gown um, and exit the stage and go back into their vehicle. Uh, we will obviously maintain as much social distancing as possible. Um, the graduate does not have to wear a mask in their picture, um, but they obviously should have a mask with them as they're coming to it, and then they can take it off um, somewhere uh, between leaving the car and then getting back into the car. Simultaneously, we're also going to be live streaming the event. And so we will have, uh, we made a, an agreement with KSAR to be in a scissor lift for us. They're going to record the, um, the event. We're going to try to live stream it also via Facebook Live. Uh, and the videos that are captured are going to then be edited and used in our virtual graduation video for June 4th. So this whole experience is going to be pretty, pretty awesome. So key points now is uh, Mr. Ellis. So Mr. Ellis. Right. Well, first off, uh, welcome. Thank you guys for attending the, uh, this little seminar here. I miss seeing you guys around campus. <clears throat> so uh, definitely look forward to, looking forward to the first year. So a couple key points that we want to uh, make sure we hammer home. Uh, first, on uh, Friday here, May 15th at 8 a.m., uh, you will have access to Sign Up Genius, Genius to schedule a one-minute time slot. Uh, that's going to be very important. Uh, please do not pick multiple slots. Uh, if you do, we're going to have to delete your second appointment and, and keep the earlier appointment. Um, we're anticipating that you're going to probably want to, although you don't have to, but you might want to coordinate with your friends. So if you want to, you know, kind of witness uh, their moment on the McAfee steps, you're going to need to plan accordingly. So for example, students A, B, C, D, and E want to celebrate together. Uh, student A might pick the 11 or 10.30 start time. Student B, the 10.31 start time. Student C, the 10.32 slot time. 
et cetera, et cetera. Um, you're going to need to try to arrive to campus uh, as a caravan so that we can ensure that you guys are going to enter uh, at the same time. And then again, there are no guarantees. Again, we're, we're, we're breaking this down into the minute here. Uh, and there are no guarantees if one member of your group arrives out of order early or late. We're just going to do the best we can. All right. So some more key points uh, for traffic control. As Mr. Louis uh, kind of mentioned a little bit ago, we're going to ask everyone to uh, kind of travel down Harriman Avenue east to west. So we want everyone to come off Saratoga Avenue and travel westward like uh, on Harriman. You make a left-hand turn into the parking lot. Um, we do not want you to a, a, approach the school coming off Saratoga Sunnyvale. Again, if you can probably picture that, that's just going to create a bottleneck at the entrance there. We want you guys coming in. So, Additional key points. Stay with me here. Uh, please do not arrive earlier than 15 minutes to your scheduled time. Um, if your appointment is at 11 a.m., please don't arrive any earlier than 1045 and no later than 1055. Big. We need you to come dressed, ready in your cap and gown, ready to go uh, for this as well. No changing in the parking lot. It's going to mess up the timing. Please bring your textbook, library books, uniforms, etc., to return. Uh, we're going to talk about music equipment perhaps at a, at a different time here. Again, continuing on, you're going to have, as Mr. Louis said, 15 stops before exiting your vehicle to walk across the steps at the McAfee. Uh, only the graduate can leave the car. We're going to be practicing the social distancing, so it's just the graduate that should be leaving the car. All our other family members should, should sit in the appropriate spots in the car uh, to assist with efficiency. Um, we will give you your commencement ceremony program have a photo stop for a photographer to capture you and your family in the car, and have a professional photographer to take the graduate's picture at the top of the stairs. Uh, we're gonna be live streaming the entire event on June 1st. Uh, so you'll have a chance to see it uh, on the virtual graduation ceremony. And um, diplomas, so I'm kind of going a little fast there, but diplomas will be made available to seniors after June 15th. We got to double check fines and returns of textbooks and all that kind of stuff as well. So um, at this time, uh, this is gonna be our question and answer period here. Uh, we've just kind of given you a ton of information. Um, so if you've got uh, questions, we're gonna ask that you type those questions into the uh, Q and A um, section down at the bottom of the screen. And Ms. Monarchy and I will kind of help moderate that, Mr. Torrens and Mr. Louie. Um, although Mr. I'm sorry. Yeah, Mr. Torrens, I think you're up. Yes, I am, Mr. Ellis. Thank you. Yeah. Um, you have permission. Uh, okay, so while you're right, thinking of your questions, let me go over a couple of just final reminders here, things we've already done. We've been doing trivia nights on the senior Facebook page as a way to connect with kids. Um, we have our distribution of cap and gowns, which will be happening next Thursday. Now, as we've been thinking this whole thing through, we thought, well, if the seniors are all coming on campus to get their cap and gowns, let's give them the opportunity to turn in all of their textbooks, Chromebooks, uniforms, things like that. So we're going, and we're going to do that all the same way that you just saw Mr. Louie lay out, entering in by the sport court, coming up by the tennis courts and, and there'll be stations for you to uh, pull up to in your car, reach in and stick your textbooks out into a recycling can. Uh, no one needs to touch them except you. Uh, we will have for, for Chromebooks, for map equipment, for graphic calculators, we'll have tables you can set them on all while you're sitting in your car. So we're gonna add all that component to next Thursday. So um, you can see on the on here that there's a schedule for next Thursday. We have to spread you out over two, a couple hours. So if your last name falls between A and a C, you're coming in anytime from one to 115. 
Okay, there's no sign up genius. Just come in during that time slot if you're, if you're available. You don't have to do it as the graduate. It could be a family member, okay? Um, it, oh, another important point. So if you cannot turn in some of your textbooks and you, you, want to, you have AP Spanish or, um, or AP Stats test on Friday the next day, then hold on to those books and textbooks and you could turn them in on June 1st, the day uh, or June, June 1st, the day of the, of the, um, this celebration. If you haven't, if you're going to rent your, if, if you have, if you're going to purchase your cap and gowns, we're going to ask you on next Thursday that you uh, do your cash purchases and come at the end. So 2.45 to three o'clock. Uh, other things that are going on relating to the virtual graduation now is we're going to be having student graduation speakers like we do every year. We hold auditions for those um, uh, for those speaking uh, opportunities. And so that's been advertised to the students noon on May 26th. They have to have turned in their application. We're also doing a senior signing celebration on May 27th at 3 p.m. And then MAP has their graduation ceremony on the 28th. We also have Saratoga's Got Talent on May 20, 29th, which is a um, Friday, I think. Uh, Saturday, Friday. Uh, and then, oh, it's a Friday because the drama celebration is on the 30th on Saturday. So, the following week is June 1st, obviously 10 to 4.30 for this drive-through diploma presentation where we're celebrating the seniors. And then that night, we're gonna be hosting our senior awards night that so many of you are a part of. And then we'll have our virtual graduation, which will be the student speakers, our senior class officer speakers, or, or they have a little presentation, uh, Mr. Louie, and then we'll have an edited version of the Monday's drive-through celebration we're going to add. And then our senior celebration. This is something that uh, we're hopeful. So the senior class has saved lots of money for their prom. Uh, that money is still being saved. And we're going to use that for some sort of celebration in the future. Uh, the celebration, if we're allowed in August, we'll, August is our priority, but right now it doesn't look hopeful. So then now we're looking at possibly in December or even in uh, next spring or next summer. Uh, that celebration might be, you know, everyone bring their yearbooks, let's sign yearbooks. Uh, we're talking about an idea of everyone in the class, giving them a tile decorating the tile based on their experience at Saratoga. And then we, we put those tiles somewhere up on the school to commemorate the class of 2020. Some good old food trucks, some country Western music, or I mean, it's just some music and uh, just some fun activities. So that's gonna be, a, that's a big part of this whole plan is that celebration. Finally, uh, grad, we've had a lot of questions about grad night and uh, they're doing refunds for those parents who paid for tickets. There's a form that has been sent around to get information on how parents would like their refund. And so there's a link here. Uh, and if you have any questions, you can certainly email me and I can, I can give you that information. Ms. Okay. Martin. Yeah, so there's several questions. Um, that have popped up. Um, I'm just going to start at the top of the list. So um, one of the things that people are asking, are families allowed to make their own posters or signs to hang on the fence on school property? Absolutely. Um, we definitely will encourage that. Um, and we would expect that everybody would be respectful uh, and appropriate in their signs. But the more decorations people would like to bring to the parking lot um, before June 1st, uh, we will definitely accept and encourage. Um, how is there a time for when they can do that or, or have we figured that out? Uh, at this point in time, we're going to try to have everything done and decorated by before 9 a.m. on the 1st. 
Um, obviously, if it's something that you can be able to put up on Sunday in advance, because Mr. Torrens and I will be here Sunday to be able to do some of the decorations also, um, then uh, then that would be something we could probably coordinate. Yeah, the, uh, you did talk about wearing masks. Everybody should wear masks, um, except you don't have to have your mask on when you have your photo taken. So, so that's can I, important. Can I speak to um, that? Yeah. Sorry to interrupt. Um, so with the mask, uh, everyone's encouraged. Uh, everyone's encouraged to wear masks, and the, the graduates, when they walk up before their picture, they can take their mask off. They should just think about where they're going to put it. So, is if they have a pocket, a per, uh, probably not a purse or on a, but where are they going to put their mask? Just kind of think that through. Okay. Um, there were several questions that came up while you were giving the presentation related to the order and is it alpha order and how do we sign up and the sign of genius and all that kind of thing. So I would recommend that everybody look at this presentation when it's sent out again. It talks about the sign up genius and you'll sign up in those time slots. And that, um, starts, that starts just to hammer that again. That's that's going to be Friday, May 15th at 8 a.m. So mm -hmm. make, make sure that you understand that because that's a that's a kind of a potentially a big thing. And can I also interrupt another time? Um, that the, we, the reason why we didn't do the alpha order, which would have been a lot easier, is that the kids asked if we can somehow make it so that they had some flexibility. So that's what we're trying to comply with here. Mm -hmm. What we imagined, what we imagined was that we could roughly, if you remember in the design, there's three cars at the front of the McAfee. If we imagine there's one car that had just turned, made the right turn and one car on deck, that means there's ultimately five cars with therefore five graduates that could have the best view of the of a graduate coming across the McAfee stage. And so honking the horn, um, cheering outside the windows, all of that is going to be encouraged. And ultimately, if you have your, your little uh, intimate group of five friends that you want to try to coordinate a time that you're going to go 1105, 1106, 1107, 1108, 1109, definitely try for that. Um, as we said in one of the slides, there's no guarantees though. So if the five of you all want that little window of time, be strategic about how you can get all five of you to show up at the right time and come into the parking lot at the right time and be in line together um, consecutively. Because again, we're not going to have the opportunity to shuffle the cars and put them in the right order. And so again, there's a lot of cooperation, 360 plus graduates that are going to have to all sort of work together and collaborate together to make sure that this day goes as smooth as possible. Okay, so um, there are more questions about where do I sit in the car, but that's in the presentation. So again, look at the presentation. Are there questions about yearbooks when they're getting their yearbooks? The yearbooks are being mailed home to you. So you do not need to worry about picking yearbooks up. Um, in fact, I think they're being mailed home the week of Memorial Day. So uh, watch your mail for that if you purchase a yearbook. Um, let's see. Um, Can I address the... Can I address the question about Los Gatos and us? Yes, sure. So Los Gatos High School has a very different setup and a different uh, number of students. And so we were both schools were given the, the options of creating our own plans. We did meet together three different times and things that we were doing, they didn't want to do and things they were doing, we didn't feel would work within our setup. We're doing it in the long skinny parking lot. They're doing theirs on their lawn. And um, so we each have different constraints. Okay, um, will we receive a copy of the professional photograph taken at the top of the steps? Yes, now and forever we will publish. What they do is they don't, they don't send a note. They'll, they'll publish like our school and you just click on it. You find your picture and you pay for it. On, on everything's online. Okay, and again, yes, graduates and families can pop out through your sunroof, take pictures all they want. Um, again, book return will happen on May twenty uh, first, um, and also on the first if necessary. If you're not able to be there on the twenty first, um, where should we arrive 15 minutes before the time slot? Is it by the entrance by the stadium? Yes, it is. 
So you're going to come in that entrance down by the sport court, way down at the end. Again, um, if we just to, just sort of do the simple math in the head, if if you stop in a checkpoint one, you would imagine that 15 minutes in front of you is a person who is walking across the McAfee stage, and mm -hmm. as that each minute goes by, and we've Mr. Ellis and Mr. Torrance and Ms. Monarchy, we've we've walked it, we've timed it, we've practiced it just to get a sense of of timing. It might be a little bit more, a little bit quicker than a minute, but we estimated a minute per graduate. So if you show up at the checkpoint one, roughly 15 minutes later, you would be walking across the stage yourself. Um, so again, it's the general gist of it all. Mm -hmm. um, the, the, there's a concern that there, there might be a really long line on Harriman Drive. How are we addressing the traffic backup? So we do have the, the area where it's going to snake in the parking lot for a little bit to pull some of the traffic off. And again, if, if we can get people to not show up too terribly early, we're not going to back up people too terribly much. And we mm -hmm. might be able to flow things relatively cleanly as people are coming off of Harriman into the parking lot, working their way through the snake, and then getting to checkpoint one. Okay. Um, in terms of signing up, uh, when, when again, the when is it and wh where will the link be sent? Will it be sent to students only? The link for the sign up genius. We're, we're going to send it to students and to staff. We're going to send it in Canvas and we'll send it in school messenger. Uh, thanks to staff, senior, no, senior parents. Sorry. Senior parents and their students. Okay. So senior parents and the students will send it. Now, families need to coordinate. So we don't need mom to schedule a time for the graduate and dad to schedule time for the graduate and the graduate to schedule time for the graduate because that's going to mess people up. So I highly recommend that the, the parents let the graduate be the person who schedules the time for the graduate. We strategically picked eight o'clock in the morning for those who are the early risers, right? They get the worm. If the graduate's going to wake up at 11 or 12 because they stayed up late, they can be able to pick the times that are left. But again, I would, I would encourage to let our young adults, our, our soon to be graduates, be the ones to coordinate the times with their friends and then to pick their time and to work that out. Okay, so they, everyone's gonna look for that sign up link. When is that link gonna be mailed home, mailed out? The email will be in everybody's inbox by 8 a.m. On, on that Friday morning and this the Friday, sign up genius will right? open up at eight o'clock on the dot. Okay, so that's like two days from now, right? A Absolutely. Day and a half. We, yeah, we strategically, again, plan to do this presentation tonight, send out the video tomorrow morning for people who couldn't make it or couldn't see it. And then the students, the seniors themselves could be able to have some time to talk with their friends and be strategic if they wanted to. And then, mm -hmm. like I said, 8 a.m. on the dot Friday morning, Sign Up Genius will open up and we'll see how it populates. Okay. Will the recording of this be available after the live stream to share with extended family? Yes. So the recording will be on case. So we've met with KSAR, they will film it. And then we're, they're going to give the film to us to edit down, just showing the kids. And, and then KSAR is trying to think through whether they'll show the entire thing later or they'll show our edit, edited version later. But uh, we will be showing the in the virtual graduation at 6 p.m. We will be showing uh, the speeches and the edited version of this ceremony. On June 4th? Yes. Okay. Um, when do students pick up things that were left at school? Mm. Great question. Um, so we've had some folks um, come up to the school, notify us and ask if they can come up. Um, we have small groups. I, uh, um, we don't want to break the shelter in place. Uh, we're hoping that the shelter in place will end on Sunday. On, it will end on June 1st so that we can allow folks to come on campus. Um, so right now, our answer is going to be sometime that first week of June if the shelter in place is lifted. Mr. Lou, you want to add anything to that? No, that's about it. I mean, um, if you have something in an exterior locker, that obviously you can get to at any point in time. And it's something you desperately need. Um, you know, I'm, I'm off campus by six or seven o'clock at night, so I won't see it. If you're going to be uh, something inside of a classroom or something inside of a locker room, 
Um, that's where obviously we'll have to coordinate something. And if you were to email Mr. Torrens or myself or Mr. Ellis, um, the three of us are, tend to be on campus uh, every other day or every day. We could be able to go into a locker, uh, and grab it for you and have it ready for you to pick up. Um, but again, ideally it's a matter of, of whether you really, really need it or something you just want to have. Okay. It's helpful, Somebody's if, asked. It's helpful if we have a locker number and a combination. Okay, uh, question about spirit packs again, and will there be lawn signs? Those are gonna be distributed next week with uh, the caps and gowns that are going to be passed out. Okay. Um, there's questions about the gowns again that if you a lot of these questions that have been asked um, are in the presentation so when we post this link of the recording please make sure to go through that um let's see there's a, there's, there is a question here about if uh if a pair of parents want to volunteer to help um how do they how, how might they do that i'll answer that um so what we should do is uh, we've talked to some of the parents on our, we have a little graduation committee. We talked to them today about how we can solicit some help and we will, we will need some help, especially in that first parking lot. Uh, we'll, we'll give you more information as we can think through that, but we, we appreciate the offer. Um, I'm gonna, yeah. So we'll let you know as soon as we know. Okay. And uh, will this presentation be made available? Uh, when we uh, when are we planning to post this presentation? Uh, this presentation, after it's been uh, ready to go, we're going to embed it in an email, and I'll share that tomorrow morning with everyone. We'll also have it uh, put on the school website so people can get to it too. Um, what's going to happen if people show up way too early or in groups? If they show up way too early, our first checkpoint person is going to tell them to pull off into the uh, part of the parking lot and wait until it's closer to their time. If they if the graduates show up in group, um, that's going to completely violate everything that we've asked them to do. So we're going to ask again that all families um, re respect the fact that this is a very unique unique uh, opportunity. Um, and if we violate this or we create too many problems at any point in time, they could shut us down. And six and a half hours is a long time to be on our best behavior. So if we can please make sure that we adhere to one graduate per car, uh, one car per graduate, uh, and then just again, make this work. I, I saw a question about the time, um, just to review. Our senior awards, our senior um, awards night starts at seven. Our virtual graduation starts at six. I think that was confusing to some. Senior awards night is Monday night. That starts at seven. And, but our virtual graduation on Thursday, June 4th starts at six. Okay. Um, again, if you did not purchase a cap and gown, you can do that um, on uh, next Thursday, the 21st, at the end of the time slot. So uh, when you, this presentation comes out, just scroll through till you find that information. Um, do we have to turn our gowns in on, on the day of the diploma uh, celebration? Yes, they do. They do. They'll have the gowns for a week. So anything you want to do with your gowns, uh, you, if you want to get group pictures with friends, you, you should do that uh, before. Mm -hmm. there's, a, there's a message here, a question about honor cords. <clears throat> uh, normally they get honor cords prior to or uh, at, I'm sorry, awards night. Um, they want the, this person would like to know, will they, will they still receive them in order to get their graduation photos? We're hoping to have the honor cords handed out at the same time we pass out the cap and gowns. Um, there's questions. Uh, some community members have been asking about graduation celebrations. Will there be crowd control outside of the school? We have a, a sheriff's officer that we're hiring to help us manage the traffic and, and enforce people staying away and crowd control. 
Hopefully mm -hmm. that's plural, not just yeah. one sheriff officer. Yeah. Um, if someone doesn't attend, how they, how will they get their diploma? The diploma and the diploma cover, if, if needed, again, we can mail those home. So we will have records of who did not pick up a diploma cover based off of their either not signing a percent of genius or not showing up um, when they were supposed to check in. And the diplomas, um, we will either mail those home or we will arrange for uh, a day for students to come to campus to pick them up if, it, if they have no fines and no uh, borrowed equipment that they haven't returned yet. Um, how do we know if our student is getting an award at awards night? Mr. Ellis? Well, all the seniors are going to be acknowledged uh, at awards night. Um, I, uh, and so all, all seniors will be, um, many seniors filled out a senior survey. Um, and so if they uh, answered questions about uh, items or awards they were receiving from the college that they're attending, they will be included in awards night. Um, but there are many awards um, that uh, students um, don't know until until that night. Um, I don't know if maybe uh, Mr. Uh, Torrens or Ms. Monarchy, who might have more experience with with whether or not we notify families so that they know they're going to get one of those special awards so that they attend awards night. I'm not sure if we've done that in the past. It's my first time doing it too. So yeah. So typically um, we invite seniors that are getting special awards and their families to awards night and not everybody attends. Part of the reason is that we can't hold everybody in the McAfee. Sure. Um, so because we're doing a different format this year, um, all seniors are recognized and the event that will be broadcast on the night of June 1st will, um, will be, streamed live but it will it will actually be pre-recorded so um, everybody will have been notified or will be surprised when they watch the recording on some of these awards and some of them are really kind of cool so hopefully you'll watch um, okay so uh, does the school end for seniors by June 1st so technically no technically like all students their last day is June 4th um, this year with the uh, remote learning, distance learning, special school closure stuff that's going on, um, we are making plans that instructionally our seniors will be done the week of Memorial Day, or the week Memorial Day week. So before the end of May, seniors should be pretty much done with anything academically related. June 1st, obviously, you're spending part of your day with us, meeting your diploma cover, um, and then we have other activities technically that Mr. Torrens um, has described that seniors will be involved in, but uh, academically you're done essentially by the end of May. Um, there's a question about having, if you have a fine, will checks be collected as well, or do we send them somewhere? I could, I'll address that. Um, we're not able to collect the fines on the May 21st cap and gown distribution. Um, we're hoping to collect all the as many textbooks in that. Um, we hope to notify everybody ahead of time of all your fines. So there are four categories of fines of, as I think of them. There's the textbooks, there's music, there's uniforms, and that's it. It's three. There might be media arts or if you've lost something, you know, a calculator or whatever. So um, the best thing we're gonna, we're gonna try to get the library fines are the biggest fines and we're gonna try to get that list out to folks uh, with a message that we know you might have these, we just need you to make sure you turn these in. Okay, uh, there's a question about, you know, the concern of what if I get stuck in traffic and I miss my time slot? You know, what do I do? Um, my recommendation and is just keep going, just Stay in line, get in line, do it. You'll, we're still gonna grant you to go through. Um, so our, our hope is because of the timing of this six and a half hours is that we're, everybody's far enough apart that we'll, there won't be a big traffic backup. Um, so I know people will be anxious and wanna get there, but just pretend like you're coming to school. Nobody rushes to school. So get there on time, right? So that's the way it works. All right. Um, 
I don't, let me see if there's any last. Um, oh, if I rented my gown, is there a way I could buy it to keep it instead? I'm sure there is. Um, the, yeah. the, Just bring $50 you, dollars cash. <laughs> To, yeah, to the um, May 21st um, event, the representative from Herf Jones will be there. And so people that want to purchase gowns can purchase them there. Instead of renting, you could pay for it there and keep it at the end. There was a question about the marching band and music instruments. And right now, it looks like we're going to be returning. All the seniors will be returning that equipment uh, probably June 2nd or June 3rd but not on either of these days. Okay. Um, somebody has a question about a fine for the cafeteria and it's, it, they're having trouble paying it. Can they just send a check to the school? I think so. So I would make it out to the district, the Los Gatos Saratoga High School District and just mail it to the school. We'll get it to the right place. Um, the, will the live stream June 4th grad ceremony be available to viewed after the 6 p.m. time on YouTube? Are we going to record that and post that somewhere? So we're hoping the, the, the things that will be played on YouTube, we're hoping we will be posting on the SHS TV YouTube channel. And it, we hope to have that, the goal is to have that up and ready to view at 6 p.m. There's a question about memory boards. Memory boards are things that the grad night committee would usually ask about and um, and have set up for grad night, but because we're not having and hosting a grad night, um, I would say if you wanted to do something like that, it would be a decoration that you would bring to graduation, the drive through graduation and, and set up prior, um, but we are not collecting memory boards and grad night's not collecting memory boards. They could hold it out the window. Yep, you could do that. Um, will there be music? Somebody's hoping there'll be music. Yeah, there'll be and some. And then uh, there's a note here about grad night. People will be letting people know about memory boards. So maybe there's something going on that I'm not aware of. Okay, I don't see. I don't see any other questions that aren't answered in the uh, presentation itself. So again, the, the link to the presentation, Mr. Louie, is going to be sent out tomorrow morning, correct? Yes, the link, will be, sent out, the, the link will be sent out as soon as it's, uh, as soon as we have it ready to embed in an email. We'll take care of it that way. I, yeah. I, I got an answer, Carrie, uh, to the question about the senior magazine. Okay. According to Mr. Tyler, the seniors chose to do a website instead with the same content. They hope to go live with it in early June. Okay. Uh, they do, we, we do have a print issue for the Falcon that will be mailed home in late May if they can get it done. Get it done. Get it done. Um, oh, there is one question re related to the Sign Up Genius. Does the person need to have a Sign Up Genius account to sign up for the slot? Not that I know of, it just goes to your email and then you open up the link and and, uh, and go from there. Okay. Okay. Um, if a uh, last question, if people miss their time slot and it has uh, a domino effect, do we just stay in our spot in line and diploma hand, hand out adapt? Yes, we will adapt to where whatever shows up at our line. <laughs> And we really appreciate everyone's patience and understanding as we navigate this. Um, it's, it, well, I won't give a little speech here, but we appreciate <laughs> your patience with us and the school. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, I think that's all the questions that haven't been answered. So if you came on late and you missed something and you're worried about it, if you go back and look through the presentation, you'll find yeah. Lots and lots of answers uh, for your questions. All right. Mr. Thanks, Louie, everybody. anything else? Okay. I think we're good. Thank you.
Do we leave the meeting? Looks like we're still live on YouTube. Yeah, well, my, go Falcon. My, Show my, your COVID my, memes, Mr. Torrance. <laughs> it's trivia night. 